Kenya's fight against corruption has received a boost following the signing of the Framework for the Return of Assets from Corruption and Crime in Kenya, a move that is also supported by the United Kingdom and the Jersey Island. The agreement will create a mechanism for Kenya to recover money stolen by corrupt individuals and hidden in the three countries, that is Switzerland, the United Kingdom and Jersey Island. We have just agreed upon a framework for the return of assets from corruption and crime in Kenya. The framework outlines our commitment and action plan for recovering the proceeds of crime and corruption, and it will ensure that illegally acquired wealth held outside our country is repatriated to benefit the Kenyan people. And this framework will allow Switzerland to return financial assets that have been blocked, uh, from exa uh, for example, from the Anglo leasing uh, uh, case, and uh, to return financial assets to Kenya once the judicial proceedings come to an end. The framework, which is in line with the United Nations Convention Against Corruption, provides the principles to guide the recovery of stolen assets. The first assets to be targeted by the new framework will be monies stolen through the Anglo leasing scandal and hidden in Switzerland. A steering committee comprising of officials from the Office of the President, the Attorney General, the National Treasury, the Assets Recovery Agency, the Ethics and Anti-Corruption Commission and envoys representing the partner countries will be established to implement the deal. Part of the roles of the team will be to identify potential assets to be recovered, identify potential implementing organizations, decide unanimously on priorities for the use of the returned funds, monitor progress in returning assets, receive reports on the progress of projects funded through the recovered assets and learning lessons for future returns. The agreement also has a provision to allow other nations willing to cooperate with Kenya in the recovery of stolen assets to join in. President Kenyatta hailed President Berset of Switzerland for continued support of Kenya's prosperity, saying that Switzerland, which was the first country to recognize Kenya at independence in 1963, has given immense support to Kenya's health and humanitarian sectors. Our partnership is enabling greater access to water, pasture, and strengthening service delivery in all ASAL areas. And partnerships such as these are important in ensuring that we lift our people out of poverty while delivering development and prosperity that leaves nobody behind. President Berset, who is in the country for a two-day official visit, said that his country appreciates the role that Kenya is at regional and global stages.